Okay, guys, this this one goes for everybody. Um, I don't care if you got 20 years in the business or whatever, but you want to let me come back. I don't okay. care how long you're doing it, but um, uh, you want to minimize or limit your comebacks. Even if you're a master, it don't matter. Always top of your fluids. That will be oil. Brake fluid. Power steering fluid. Windshield washer. These things are all labeled. Cooling. If you guys not sure, you could let me know, or put a note there, asking me, show me the bottle or picture, whatever. And I could help you out with the fluids marking to see what fluid goes where. And uh, another thing is tire pressure. Also check your tire pressure and the gas cap. The reason I told you to check the gas cap is the guy just fueled before coming to the dealer. And after the refuel, they left the gas cap loose. Guess what? It takes like 17 miles for the check engine line to come on after you leave the gas cap loose. So. Check your gas cap because if you fix the car, the guy just did five miles, goes back out once you fixed it. He does another 12 miles, checking the line, come back on. Guess what? They're gonna blame it on you. Oh, I was just at the dealer. But he doesn't, he, he forgot that he was at the gas station and the gas cap was left loose and I would have like a evap leak. The gas cap will keep the vents, all the fumes ventilated, like it will go and burn into the engine. They will go, the vent, the the fumes will go and burn in the engine compartment all right to the engine all right so that would be a check engine light right there and they're gonna make you so do all those check your fluids check your tire pressure and check your gas cap and believe me i i i trust me you're gonna you're gonna get less comebacks okay